Gordon, the 24 hours of playing is over. Yes. Talk us through it because I would imagine you didn't sleep very much during those 24 hours. No, I got an hour between uh, 6 and 7 in the morning. But uh, apart from that, that's all I got. And the tractor didn't get anything at all, so she never let us down the whole time. The tractor ran perfect. Oh, never, never missed a beat. Never missed a beat the whole time. Were you nervous about that as you went into it? Ah, well, we, uh, we, we were feared in case something went down because where, where do you go to get anything for, <laughs> for it? Fred, uh, Fred in the shed could have issues oh, you. That's right. But, uh, but, you know, the bottom line, City of Derry, brought the tractor in with the intention of auctioning it off for um, charity, for their ambulance. 24 hours of ploughing was the challenge that you set the tractor to do. So this isn't just your normal, here, let's go and buy an old tractor, we'll auction it, we'll do something good here. You set this challenge up, you turned it into a bit of a family fun day out, pretty much. And I just thought it was a mega success. Even it did rain a little bit at the end, but like there was two old lads studying the plowing up, getting soaked, and we didn't seem too worried. <laughs> Gary and I, we were happy out. So how did the day feel for you all? Oh, it, it, it turned into a bigger event than we had sort of planned originally. Originally, we sort of just, we'll have the plowing and we'll have a few, few other things about the field, but it turned into a, 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 re, a real good show in, in, in our opinion. And anybody that was at the show says that, oh, you'll have to do something like this again next year. But we don't think, we don't think our, our, our hair could stick it. It was, get, <laughs> it was getting, getting close to being pulled out a few times, so it was. I suppose there was a few different things happened on the day. It was great to see a support from a lot of local dealers, etc., even local contractors, bringing machines down, machines there to see. You know, coming on the, uh, you know, coming out of COVID, it was just great to get walking out and about and seeing machines and seeing people. Oh, that's right. Uh, everyone, everyone that was there, was just, well, they were just glad to get a day out because they'd been locked up this last two years, and it was the first first chance they could go out and feel feel half safe because it was outside. There was not, not nothing indoors. They, they they felt that they could walk about and, and, and chat to folk that they, they hadn't seen, that they would usually just see at local shows. And some of the machinery on display, it wasn't too shabby. <laughs> no, there's not too many shows you can go to in this country and see four, four self-propelled sitting on the field. It is and definitely. That, that, and you know, that, listen, that is exactly uh, something to be commended because there was probably more intensive machinery of different brands to look at there than there would be at probably any agricultural show you would go to now. No, that, that's right. We're, we're sort of spoiled in the, the area that we are. We're, we're surrounded by so many contractors, the likes of Gort Hill and the Kilnses and everything. Like they're, they're all around us and they're all, they're all glad to support us, especially Gort Hill with doing the, the ploughing at the end up as well with, with their new fent. Just coming on to that, um, uh, Gord Hill had a, a, had a lot of kit there and uh, you, you definitely couldn't have missed it. But they brought in the Gen 6 724, which is the absolute latest and greatest. With a 6 for a plough, just keep me right. Yeah, yeah. 6 for a plough. So the little Fent farmer had ploughed for 23 hours non stop. Yeah. And they set themselves the challenge of seeing how close they could get to you within one hour. And they went over the same ground, so what happened there? Uh, Ali Craig, he went over, give it a bit of a grub or whatever you want to call it, so we, we, we come over the same ground again. Yeah. How did that go? Oh, it, it was, we, 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 we honestly didn't know how it would work out. <laughs> I mean, we, like it could have it 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 been over the top of us in 10 minutes, or it could have been struggling to get it done, and it just worked out perfectly. We both finished at the same time. It, it, it worked out really well. And the, the two tractors, we, we worked out, they both burnt roughly the same diesel, but uh, the new one done it in an hour, but this took in 24 hours. Seriously? Yeah. But, uh, and that was, and like, that fence was moving. No, it, 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 I, I was ploughing in the last hour with this, and I was sweating. <laughs> I was just waiting to be turned over. That's what it was. But it just goes to show you, and that's what 60 years of uh, 
technology, advancements. You know, imagine 60 years ago being the person getting that tractor there with that two fur plow to go out and do work. You would have thought unbelievable. But can you imagine explaining to the person that would have bought that tractor 60 years ago to do some work, what the new one could now do. No, that's right. It just shows you the, the advances in technology over those 60 years. It's, it's incredible. It'd be scary to see what it'll be like in another 60 years. <laughs> probably, probably we'll just be sitting in the house drinking tea. No, that's right. <laughs> and everything else. But look, at the heels of the hunt, the big day is coming soon. Yeah. Just run us past what exactly is happening and, and, and what we can do. We are well aware this tractor is going for charity, but it's not just about the tractor. No, we have uh, the auction coming up on the 16th of October. That's going to be on Mart Day, uh, on Richard Beatty's Mart Day on online. And the likes of the link box is going to be auctioned as well. Yeah, we have, we have the link box. We've got a set of tires for a vintage tractor. We've got grass seed. We've got fent mem memorabilia, we have class memorabilia, we've got a whole selection of different, there are a lot of items, they'll be going up shortly online. So get on, have a look, place your bids. Yeah. And uh, obviously the star of the show. Yeah, this is, is, this, is, this is the star of the show. We're, we, we feel like, you know, I don't know how many times we've handed this tractor back and forth <laughs> now, but we, we sort of basically said, look guys, throw it up to us if you want, we'd love to put it on our stand. But yeah. just, just that Balmoral show, just to let people uh, see it, I think, and it most certainly drew a lot of attention and hopefully, hopefully, all we can hope is that we spark some boy off that maybe as a collector or has an interest, they'll maybe tune in and, you know, yeah. put, put the money down. So. Um, from our point of view at Grassman, um, thank you very much for asking us to be involved. No Obviously problem. Obviously, the, 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 we try and do a lot with the air ambulance as well, and that's ultimately that where, where the money, the proceeds is going yeah, here. That's right. So um, it's great to come together and work alongside the Young Farmers Club, working towards great charity that Northern Ireland uh, badly needs to keep no, in, the, uh, in the air, and that's, that's right. exactly what this is doing. So we commend you guys. Uh, as a club um, for all that you've done. We thought the day out was fantastic. Um, and I enjoyed being there and hopefully people enjoy this little video and see exactly what you guys were able to pull off uh, yeah. in, in difficult times. That's right, that's and, right. And uh, the great community spirit that was there that day. So please get online, Marty, get looking, get bidding, and uh, someone's gonna be a very lucky owner <laughs> of this little thing. That's right. <laughs>